Hello everyone, my name is Makai Majidi and I'm doing an analysis of James Beckworth, a poem written by Hockey and Belly. Um, the thing that I've definitely taken the most from this poem was finally finding some context. Even though it's a small amount of context, it's only one person, but just understanding why there's a, a black population in New Mexico. Just because there's not a high black population now, but I always wondered, you know, how did us as black people actually get to New Mexico and, you know, be able to create a community. Um, James Beckworth's life is definitely not typical to the, to what I've read and what I've heard throughout my life and what a black man's journey is during that time. Um, I think his, uh, his mashup of being Native American, white, and black definitely gave him options in terms of where his identity could go and he seemed to have just simply went a different way and became his own person and you can kind of tell that in the poem just because the way that it's delivered Hakeem mentions a point where I think he uh, says that the preacher says amen and then he says I then that shows his indifference to a very popular thing like religion which a lot of people follow and I think that um, that rebellious nature shows his individualism and that um, I wouldn't say hot headedness, but I would say being more aware of the situation has really shown that him as a person is, uh, is somebody who's, I would say, a leader and not a follower. And, you know, of course, I don't have much context on him in terms of from the poem. But just from reading from this, I think he's somebody who would definitely lead a great amount of people and would leave an impact just like he did. And I think that's also kind of why people know his name now, even hundreds of years later.